It's time for the talking to stop and the fighting to start. This should be good. I'm Todd Grisham. So here is Saul Canelo Alvarez, a Sir. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, here is Mexico's first ever undisputed world champion and renowned star of boxing. Here is a four division world champion and an undisputed super middleweight champion of the world, Saul Canelo Alvarez. Hiding out of the blue corner from Buenos Aires, Argentina, here is a unified and sensational middleweight champion of the world, introducing Sergio Maravilla Martinez. These two have certainly talked the talk. Now they've got to walk the walk. Turn the phone up, close the door, close the curtains. This is it. Leave me alone. Let me enjoy myself right now. So a capacity crowd here for this one. We and we're off and running between these two really accomplished fighters. Let's see how they come out. And he caught him with a left hook. think the pace will slow down? It picks up. Not too many seats to be had in this arena as the hype continues to build for this showdown. Situations like this, Todd, will either make or break a fighter because the expectation from the fans of the people here, of the millions of people around the world, people like you and I sat here expecting everything and anything can break a man or make a man. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Totally impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got... Oh, my goodness. I admire these guys. Perfect counter shot. Nice exchange here from both men. with that jab. Coming back to life now. Starting to land some punches. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Talk about Alvarez. That was almost a 10-8 round. Complete dominance. Dominance without a doubt. Make look. Here we go for round two. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. A counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. They have got great ring IQ. Counter punches are the best. And he just missed with that left jab. Counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Todd, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. Concentrate. Some nice exchanges from both men in this rank. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. for boxing. This is a fight. Caution.
champion is being thrown to the wind. You don't want to trade shots. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. And a counter left. Talk about Alvarez. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does... On to the third. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Both of these fighters have the conditioning to go the distance, no problem. They also have the power to end this with one punch. The middleweights are the best you can ever come across. Obviously, the glamour weight is a heavyweight, but the middleweight is the size of the average man or woman. When you get in there and you're letting the shots go, you've got power, you've got speed, you've got pace. You can stand, you can dance, you can do everything. We can look back in history. You know the amazing fights with a middleweight are oh, ridiculous. That is what writes our history book. He threw the hook, didn't land. They figure out the combination to this safe. He just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. This fighter's sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. You've got to ruffle their feathers, Todd. You cannot let them get comfortable, drag them, get them complaining to the referee. Because once somebody with excellent foot speed and excellent power gets into the rhythm, the fight is over. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Talk about Alvarez. Well, he is glad to have heard that bell. Here we go to the fourth round. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him, tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Step back for just a moment. You'd like to see more jabs. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. Todd, you know what? Sometimes when I've done in the ring with fights like that and you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out of there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Missing with that right hand. Left counter school. So much firepower here. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Talk about Alvarez. At this point, time for the fifth round. 
Coming off a very tough round. Let's see what they do here. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. a power puncher you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw it's about how many you land and how hard they are this could be really intimidating todd if you know somebody's got the punch power someone's got the speed someone can take you out with a simple jab it can be intimidating it just depends on how confident you are as a fighter someone's will will cave but which fighter will it be figure out the combination to this safe. Right hand does not connect. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. So much for boxing. This is a fist fight. We hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system for a certain amount of punches per round. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again, and the fight will be over. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Talk about Alvarez. What would you tell this guy? He's got to do something different. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. On to the sixth round. After that last round, something has got to change. They both want a highlight reel knockout. for these two. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down, it's so demoralizing. It absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? Nice job landing that left counter punch. And he fails to score with that left hook. These two are the perfect dance partners. And he just misses with that jab. someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses, how do you deal with it? This can be so frustrating when you're in with such a fast fighter, fast fighter that can throw three, four shot combinations before you've even let one off. That creates frustration and that's when it gets hard. Good idea, but misses with the left hook. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Let's talk about Alvarez. Well, he is in big trouble here. He may have been saved by the bell. Wow, it's like two different leagues. Here comes round seven. Not the start that they wanted, but let's see what they can do in this round.
and he misses with that jab. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. Todd, we know one of these fighters can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. Jab. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. Back and forth they go. Neither fighter willing to back down. Swing and a miss with the right hook. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those pointed areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. you just got to try and cut them skimming. Go for speed. confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? Ten seconds to go here in the round. Let's talk about Alvarez. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who... They're back at it again here in round eight. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. There's a counter shot. He misses with that jab. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. Both men step back for just a moment. Punch, counter punch. Rest for the weary. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there, toe to toe with them, and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set the shots. Get out of the way. And they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't win. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the round. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Talk about Alvarez. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they have... And there's the bell to start round nine. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. This is some of the best action I've seen in any round anywhere this year. Tried to score with a jab. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Nice. 
Nice job landing with that right hand counter. Nice exchange here from both men. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Swing and a miss with that jab. That counter shot lands. Got out of the way of that right hook. This fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Let's talk about Alvarez. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as a fighter. And the tournament's got to put a firecracker on that fighter. Get out there. Get the job done. It's round 10. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Got out of the way of that right hook. Martinez is dazed. That was the moment. You've got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses. How do you deal with it? The corner's got the tower. They down for the count. He surely is not getting up from this. So they will throw in the towel. The corner has stopped it. They won't be happy about that, but say la vie. They don't like that. Listen to them. Oh, listen to that. When he gets back to the gym, his team is going to give him hellfire. This is what you work on as a fighter. 